Dihexa, a very powerful uh, peptide and nootropic that we're going to talk about today. What's up, guys? My name is Nayan Vazakis, and I'm a peptide specialist, and I'm excited to talk about Dihexa today. For those of you out there, particularly veterans, my veteran community, my brothers and my sisters, um, Dihexa is excellent for traumatic brain injury or for any traumatic brain disorders or diseases. It is also excellent for improving cognitive function of learning uh, and memory recall and retention. It increases BDNF, brain-derived nootropic factor. Uh, reports suggest that by, uh, is 10 million, 10 million times stronger than BDNF. Now, understanding that it just gives a, a, a real um, kind of gauge to how powerful this particular peptide can be. Because BD, lower BDMF, BDNF is associated with schizophrenia, with depression, with anxiety. Um, you know, when you, when you can't figure things out, when you're kind of struggling to put things together. I know um, even with PTSD, right? When there's a sense of overwhelm in life, Dihexa could be the medicine for you. But what I especially want to point out and cover is Alzheimer's, dementia, and even Parkinson's, right? Because this is very neuroprotective. You know, Parkinson's is essentially, uh, um, and um, in Alzheimer's, is amyloid plaques building up in the brain. And that happens through toxicity and time, as well as possibly some genetic factors, right? But really, at the end of the day, when with this lack of oxygen and you know, age-related toxic buildup through not detoxing the body, through the lymphatic system, you know, being blocked up. Um, these blockages can really start to degrade the brain's ability to protect the neurons. Now, nutrition is also important, okay? There are other ways to be able to help enhance uh, the way Dihexa works, uh, like uh, especially for people that like are heavy on stimulants, right? I've met a lot of people, especially lately for some reason, that are taking Adderall. Like, why is everybody still taking Adderall? That stuff is so bad for you. Cut that crap out, okay? Especially in the fitness industry. I understand it's an appetite suppressant and it really gets you going. And if you get a lot of work, especially attorneys and doctors and surgeons and people in those professions, they are just all about that life. But that's going to degrade uh, the myelin sheath around the nerves, particularly in the brain, and that is going to burn your body out, right? So we need to do these self-care routines and take in the right nutrients, especially if we're doing things that deplete these things. Now, combat, especially, um, which, you know, I'm personally familiar with, you know, if you've been around a lot of blasts, a lot of gunshots, um, and, you know, a lot of extreme situations of life and death and things like that. That can also trigger uh, constriction in the fascia, lack of blood flow in the brain. And all these things can contribute to degeneration. And we don't want that. So we want to regenerate. Now, I will say um, something that you'd want to take with Dihexa uh, if, if you're experiencing Alzheimer's, dementia, Parkinson's type of effects be omega-3 fatty acids. You especially want to look at your diet if you're consuming a lot of omega-6 fatty acids, which is rampant in our nutritional lacking world and, uh, you know, soil, you know, in this time. So this, uh, this peptide can really help to boost um, neurotransmitter function and protect the neural synapses that move through the brain that allow them all to communicate. And like I said, in my previous video with SS31, the communication between neurons, the communication between cells, the communication of the different parts of the immune system, it's all about the communication. And this is also, you know, how we do one thing is how we do everything, right? So if the communication in, in, the, in, in the neurons um, are not firing properly in the brain, there's a good chance that there are other cells in the other parts of the body that are not communicating either. And this can mean, means that you're not communicating with yourself, right? You're lying to yourself. You're not connected to your heart. You're still fear-based. And we got to, you know, get down to the root of that and figure that out. So 
Dihexa is really one of those peptides that is more about uh, specific circumstances, and it can be used in, in, in conjunction with other things in many ways. Uh, again, and I know I talk about this a lot, but I'm a big fan of NAD. And uh, I'll get more into the specifics of NAD in the NAD video, right? But, but uh, Dihexa can be combined with different things to perform different functions, even help to get off of other meds. Um, now, these are all very circumstance specific, and I don't wanna get into too many um, different criteria, but let's go over some of the who, what, why, when, and where, and uh, get right to the point, okay? So, uh, who should be taking Dihexa? People experiencing cognitive decline. Athletes or individuals under mental stress. This also helps really get in the zone and focus and um, with really clear, crisp energy, not that geeked out, cracked out, you know, Adderall, amphetamine kind of feeling. This is, now you have to really be in the zone or love to get in the zone, right? Which requires uh, focus. But if you're having a hard time getting to that focus, especially if you're relying on stimulants, this would be a great way to get off the stimulants and give your adrenals, your poor adrenals, give them a break, okay? and come from the other place, you know, of the natural cellular production to get this energy going. Uh, individuals interested in neuroprotection, I think that we should all really be interested in that because who, uh, I mean, these um, uh, Alzheimer's and dementia and Parkinson's, those kind of things, especially in men, uh, especially in combat veterans, I see this kind of stuff a lot and it's, it's, it's kind of nerve wracking, okay? So if you have any kind of concern about this, Feel free to message me, go to my website, optimizinghuma.com, and I'm happy to work with you and help customize a protocol nutritionally, lifestyle, peptide-wise, supplement-wise, and bring it all together to make sure you get your optimized life and live the best quality life that you can. All right, and of course, those seeking long-term brain health. Um, why should you take Dihexa? It well, obviously improves cognitive function, right? And because it's neuroprotective, uh, it, it, it helps enhance mental clarity of focus and, of course, long-term brain health. Those are all kind of, um, you know, redundancies, but I want to get across to you 10 million times the strength of BDNF, okay? And BDNF is, is already a very powerful tool. There are other ways we can help enhance it, but nowhere close to, tell me, to 10 million times. You know what I mean? Uh, what is Dihexa? Um, it's, uh, it promotes synaptogenesis, which is growth of new synapses. Uh, it enhances memory and learning, of course, through the growth of new synapses, and it protects neurons, all right? It protects it from oxidative stress and um, reduces, of course, the risk of cognitive decline. Of course, you know, I have to put a caveat out there. There's a lot of, um, everyone is a little bit different when it comes to this kind of stuff, and the reason is because we've all beat the crap out of ourselves in different ways. So nutrition is the foundation. This will help to give you an extra edge, right? But you got to get your sleep cycle down. You got to get your nutrition cycle down. You got to know what's good in your gut. You know, what foods you're going to feed the right bacteria in your gut. Many, many people out there have gastrointestinal issues. Um, I have a link down the description box below to get a biome test on. That's what I use about every six to nine months. And it works great for me because the gut is also pleomorphic in nature, mean, meaning that it adapts to its environment. So every six to nine months or so, you know, you're eating these foods that, you know, your gut wants, needs, but it adapts to those and it's going to change. It's going to shift. It's also going to shift based on your stressors and your environment. Okay. There's many factors that go into it. So when, when, whenever anything adapts to its environment, which we as human beings in pretty much every way, our environment shapes us, right? So we want to be able to have a, a certain level of control in that process. And this is how we do it, all right? When and where should you take it? And it can be taken in injectable form and oral form. I've tried it in oral form, and I can say that I, I feel it's, 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 it's subtle, uh, but I also have a pretty healthy brain, right? So if you, are, if, if you are, you know, can feel like the memory slips coming on, and if you can feel, uh, you know, maybe some trembling or shaking in your body and your brain, having a hard time sleeping, um, because you know you need neuroprotection, you know, to also get your brain into deep sleep mode, right? Don't forget that. All right, uh, you can administer it uh, through injections, uh, subcutaneous injections, um, depending on your cognitive health goals. 
Uh, you can take that hex a daily or every other day. Um, uh, you can really you can really customize it to virtually anything. Okay. Um, so where do you see the benefits in the body? Of course, your brain health, your cognitive performance, and the neuroprotection. All right. So. Um, that's what Dihexa is all about. I hope that this video um, helped enlighten you about the, the, the powers of this uh, beautiful peptide. And if you're interested in going to the place that I go to, Tele Wellness MD, the, description, the link is in the description box below. And you can also go to my website, go to my affiliate link, it's right there. Or just message me and I'll send it directly to you. All right? Too easy. There's no excuse. You can, you can take care of it. All right? So I love you guys very much. If you resonate with this, please like this video and share it with someone that you think that can benefit from this information. And I'll see you all on the next video. I hope.